Hi, this is James Headley. Welcome back to the Living in Savannah channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today and thank heavens that we averted any significant impacts from Hurricane Ian here at the landings and in Savannah more broadly. Seeing the images from my former home in Southwest Florida and elsewhere across the Southeast, I record this at the beginning of October with a heavy heart and some all good vibes possible coming from me for the rebuilding efforts that are to come. But again, we were relatively unscathed here in the landings, certainly some few random trees down and some landscaping debris, but uh, could have been much worse. So feeling, you know, feeling very thankful about all of that. As always, I appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing the channel with those who might be interested. And with that, let's dive right in on the latest uh, stats update from the month of September here in the landings. There were 20 homes that changed hands during the month, which was down four from August. Uh, the median selling price of those homes was $784,500, which was up $35,500 from last month at $258 per square foot. That was an increase of $10 per square foot from last month. The median time on market for those sold properties was 65 days, which was up 18 days from last month's update. Least expensive sale was a patio home fixer upper on Cottenham Circle uh, that sold for $410,000. And at the other end of the spectrum, a home on Marsh Island Lane sold for $1.515 million. There are currently 38 landing homes that are pending sale that's under contract with or without contingencies, an increase of four from last month. There are 28 landings homes for sale, that's active or coming soon listings, which is down four from last month at this time. The mean listing price of these homes is $928,000, which is down just over $10,000 from last month. And at $270 per square foot though, this represents an increase of $3 per square foot uh, versus the August figures. The average days on the market for these 28 homes is 44 days, which is down five days from last month at the same time. In summary, I would say that while inventory numbers are still below the historic trend line, there are a lot of signs of stability in the local real estate market. If you have any questions about these numbers or you or someone you know is considering buying or selling, please do reach out anytime. Would love to have the opportunity to talk with you and determine if we would be a good fit. And so we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. In the meantime, please do like, subscribe, and share. Take care.